Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 28th. Okay, keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. I had a question today. Um, which reading do I, which reading do I listen to? Uh, it's different than the last one you did. Then the last, this one resonates, but it's completely different than the last one you did for the sign. Okay. So then the last one or one of the readings wasn't for you. Not every single reading is for you. I know I have to say that a lot, but there's a lot of people that don't get it. So take the reading that resonates. So what do we got? What do we have for around the 28th? This reading is not time specific. What do we got? Oh, well. Well, we may have some, some an invitation. We may have an offer coming in. This is good news. Um, this is exciting news. Somebody's going to receive a message that makes them happy, that excites them. This could be from somebody that is younger. This is somebody that is um, very optimistic, um, very passionate. This is an exciting opportunity here. This is an invite or an offer. This is good news. Good news is arriving. Hmm. Somebody's making a decision. This guy. This guy is a director, or somebody in authority. This. He has a sword of truth in his hand. He's honest. He's authentic. He's truthful. He's wise. This could be somebody in the law as well. This person is making a decision. It could be about a child. doesn't have to be. This guy is very decisive. He's an investigator. He has the power in his hands. He's making a decision. A very powerful individual is making a decision. The King of Cups. It's like he knows what he has to do and he's going to do it. And it's not about, it's all about the facts, okay? And that's what it's about. It's about the facts. So, <laughs> Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But these, we all have these energies in our chart. This is a this is a decision or a choice or you know a very factual point. Okay, whatever is happening, it's based on the facts. So somebody is going to be receiving a message. It is good news, believe it or not, it's good news. This is a protector of some sort. This could be somebody in protection services, a lawyer, uh uh Somebody that is very professional, put it that way, it could be a guard, a who, oh, what was I going to say, it wasn't a guard, uh, security, some sort of security, uh, law, police officer, oh god, I'm trying to, I got something right on the tip of my tongue and it's not there, what the hell is it, something about security, safety, this might have to do with the safety of a child, and I'm not, I mean, I don't know if that's the case, but this guy is very much in authority. This is an authoritative figure and somebody that is, is, uh, is all about the law. Okay. Hmm. That's firm. That's firm leadership. That is somebody that's all about what is fair and just. Okay. Uh-oh, the Two of Cups reverse. This is uh, incompatible. This is not uh, compatible. There's no working together. There's no, there's a disconnection here. There's a partnership that is a splitting. This is a split. This is a breakup of some sort. This person is making a decision based on facts. It's time for a split. It's actually good news. There may, mother, may be an exciting opportunity with somebody that is better suited because this is a better suitor. 
you know, it's somebody that you're better that is better suited. So this is a decision that is made, and it's it's based on fact. It's a firm decision. It's like the decision has been made. The sword is up. This is this, it's, yes about a partnership that is not compatible. That is just not healthy. Whatever it is, there's a disconnection. There's there's no real partnership here. So there's a split coming. Decision is firm and final. Ooh, severing of ties. Okay, the Five of Swords, the end of a battle. It's the end of conflict. It's the end of competition with the Five of Swords reversed. This is admitting defeat or somebody is going to be feeling defeated. Um, this is letting go of ego. Somebody's ego got in the way. Somebody's ego and pride got in the way. And now there's nothing left to prove. This guy already knows the proof. He has the proof because he has the facts. So there's nothing left to prove. Now it's time to be happy. The facts are... It's, I keep on wanting to say the fact. The fact. The fact is... Is that this is abuse. There's some sort of abuse here. The Knight of Swords reversed. There is. This is, there is some sort of abuse. There, the, the Knight of Swords reversed is somebody that is, is rude and, and ignorant and arrogant and doesn't care who they hurt. This is a bully. We could have somebody here that has some mental health problems that, you know, they aren't seeing situations clearly. Now, this the, the, the Knight of Swords reversed is somebody that leads people into danger because they're clueless. This person is clueless. They really don't care who they hurt either with the Five of Swords, even if it could be a... Because that's a child. The, that first card is a child. doesn't have to be, but it's, it looks like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, this is somebody that is clueless. They're out of control. This person thinks that they know it all. They do. Very insincere. Insincere. I have a hard time saying that. They blame everybody for their actions. They do. It's not my fault. I didn't do anything wrong. So we have a very insincere individual who has led somebody it probably into a dangerous situation. But this is, it, there's going to be a split. It's like this person knows the truth, sees the truth, makes a decision that this is not compatible in some way. It's time for a new beginning. It's time to start over. It's time to leave everything behind and go in a new direction. So we do have a new beginning here. It's time to break away from an incompatible partnership where there's no working together. There's there's too many arguments. There's too many disagreements. There's somebody that is better suited. There's this. I'm sick of fighting. I'm I'm sick of this battle. I'm sick of this competition. This is a new beginning. This is starting over from scratch, leaving everything behind, replacing that fear with faith. This is an exciting opportunity to start fresh. The two of cups reverse is a split. Okay, there's disharmony in a union. There is. And a union is between two people that are together in some kind of relationship. It could be boss, employee. It could be husband, wife. It could be boyfriend, girlfriend. It could be boyfriend, boyfriend. It could be girlfriend, girlfriend. It could be best friends. It could be parents and children. It could be anybody. Okay, we have two people that have been together that are breaking apart. There is a split. Somebody is going in a different direction. They're leaving this union behind because it's time. It, there's, there's, it's time to go someplace else. It's time to uh, go through a new doorway. It's time for a new beginning. It's time to start fresh. So yes, we do have a new beginning here. We do. It's leaving everything. And that's what the fool does. Leaves everything. It's like, see ya. Keep it. I don't want it. Goodbye. But this, the King of Swords is somebody that is very decisive. And it's like, this is the decision that I have made my decision. 
This is not compatible. There's no balance. There's disharmony. And a balance is needed, okay? It's like they're taking something away and giving it to somebody else. To bring balance to a situation. The Six of Pentacles about is about give and take. It's also about uh, you reap what you sow. Somebody is going to receive something that is going to give them balance. It's going to bring them the peace and the harmony that they truly deserve. But in order to get it, they have to disconnect from this union that's not compatible. So the decision is being made to disconnect so that they can have balance and peace and harmony in their life. They're done fighting. They're done battling. They're done wanting needing to prove themselves it's like you know what i'm not playing this game anymore i'm not gonna let you bulldoze me i'm not gonna let you run me over i'm not going to let you hurt me anymore i'm done Ooh, there's a lack of, of uh, balance for sure. Somebody uh, has been resisting change. They've been unable to evolve. They've, they've been in a frustrating situation where there's been some, probably some poor health. Um, there's been some extreme ups and downs, some extremes, highs and lows. We have somebody here that has been fake. You know, they've been pretending that things were good and that's not true. And this person sees the truth. They, Somebody has been um, very impatient and controlling. Totally not wanting to accept change. Oh, Ooh, we have somebody here that is extremely exhausted. I think we have somebody here that is sick. They're sick. And they're weak. And the only way they're going to get better... I mean, they've lost their concentration and they've lost their focus and they it's, a, it's like it's a constant battle and they're always frustrated because of this negative situation. They have to leave it all. It's like I gotta leave it all behind because I can't there's there's no there's nothing here. Extreme extremely unbalanced, okay? And the only way to get balanced is to change directions. So anyway, we do have somebody that could definitely be ill, they could be sick. And there's, because stress kills. This is somebody that with this Nine of Swords card is, is probably feeling very alone, feeling very scared. There's despair and there's anguish and frustrations. We have somebody here that is, it's like, this is, I mean, the Nine of Swords, the next card is the Ten of Swords. It's like they're, they could, if they don't leave, I mean, stress kills. The next card is the Ten of Swords. What's the Ten of Swords? It's the end. It's death. It's like, if you don't leave now, you could, you know, you don't, you know what I'm trying to say? It's time to go. It's time to leave it all behind and go. You can't keep living like this. 
You know, this person can't sleep. They're unhealthy. They're sick. They've lost their balance and their concentration so much because this situation is so stressful. So this is, uh, somebody is making a decision to bring balance back by walking away and leaving it all behind. They may get the offer. They may get the invitation. Maybe somebody offers them some help or they, oh, who knows what it is, but this is an exciting opportunity to start fresh, to bring balance back. So that's what we got here. Somebody is choosing, making the decision based on the facts that this is not compatible. I want balance. I'm going someplace else and leaving all this behind. So somebody is leaving a stressful situation behind that was killing them. Seriously. They were dealing with a real bully, a real bully. Somebody that was so power hungry and controlling that they seriously did not care who they hurt at even for one second. It was totally about pride and ego. But this is this is your this is a soldier or a warrior or somebody coming to the rescue. Somebody is coming to the rescue. Six of six. There's probably a, going to be some sort of evaluation that is done that sends somebody in. This is this is moving forward, progressing towards balance. This is, this is, uh, recognition. Somebody is recognizing something. Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is somebody that is solid, somebody that is stable, somebody that is valuable. This person knows their value and has worked hard to obtain stability and security. This person is nurturing and down to earth and grounded and devoted. She's a homemaker. She cooks, she cleans, she does it all. This is somebody that is headed. This is like a hero or this could all this is a, this is the leader of the pack. This is the leader of the army. This is and like it's funny cuz I said it way up here. Okay, so this is like somebody in protection or yeah, I feel like that's what it is. See all the armor? That guy it's, yeah, there's some sort of protection here. A protector. This one right here, this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. This person is very grounded and down to earth and, and has a lot to offer. Somebody is headed into this person's life. This person uh, is balanced, can help to bring balance back. That's the coin that goes in the thing to balance out the scales. So this person has what it takes to bring balance to something to some sort of situation they have what it takes they have everything they have everything they need they they have the this person is generous this person is kind this person is wise this is an older person an older woman This is a, some kind of uh, chief or something like that or director or whatever because that's a director or whatever. Somebody that is in high authority that is making a decision to do something. They're making a decision They're coming in. They're coming into this person's life. This person is coming to the rescue. They're rescuing from this situation. The Knight of Swords is a bully.
the Four of Wands reverse. We, we have a commitment that is ending. We do. We have a commitment or a partnership or a, a family dynamic that is changing. This party is over. Okay, the party is over. There is definitely going to be a split, a separation of some sort. And somebody is headed towards somebody else that is more stable. And that is what we have here. They're leaving behind a troubled situation with a person that... Uh, it's like... Uh, just about killed them. Mentally or whatever the case is. And they're headed towards stability and security and nurturing. This person, this is Mother Earth. Okay, she's a mother. They're headed, headed towards somebody that can bring them balance. And they're leaving all the... Everything behind everything. They're not taking anything with them. Whew. So, there's a foundation that is changing. Somebody's home life or partnership or commitment or marriage or whatever it is. is changing it's changing and it's changing in a big big way <laughs> it is this is a brand new beginning this is an exciting opportunity it is somebody is headed in and this person is going to protect this person is going to protect. This person is a protector. This person is strong. This person is noble. This person has been wounded. The person that is headed in has been wounded as well. Somebody is going to receive a message that they don't expect from somebody. And it's going to unite them with somebody that will reciprocate. Somebody that is solid. Somebody that is noble. Somebody that they are better suited for. So be prepared if this reading is for you. Good luck.